And this proud tradition and a fan base and it really started to lose hope. As Indiana quickly getting to work and Jackson Davis turned back. And we got some early fireworks. What a defensive play by Hornby. Gets it back. A little bit too much and a loose change by Thompson. Both these teams are very good executing in the quarter court. And Kent State will try to heat up that basketball, try to turn them over. And they'll mix up when they bring the double, because he certainly demands one. Three defenders in the vicinity. Jackson Davis left it short. He loves that right block where he can go left hand over that right shoulder. Seventh all-time NCAA tournament appearance for the Golden Flashes. They're first in 17. This is Von Cameron Davis. Out front to Byron Thomas. Carey, three to shoot. Flips. Has to hurry. That's a first. This is Bagley. Really good D on the switch by Rach Thompson. What a pass. Thompson off the look from Jackson Davis. Debbie, that's what makes him so special. The leader in assist with everything else he does. And Thompson is a great counter to what Jackson Davis can do. Oh, just an awkward looking shot that time from Thomas. Hornbeek able to keep it alive. This is a tough challenge for Trey Galloway to try to keep Perry in front. Perry trying to turn a corner. Well done against Galloway. Got him to bite. So Kent State 0 3 here at the start from the field. But sincere Carey earns a trip to the free throw line. I think you have to guard Penn State to pinch and make them hit some threes. Carey does a great job laying line. Strong to the hoop. He's a great combo guard, too, Spiro. You can't knock him off his line. He's going to get to the free throw line. He's capable of an and one off the bounce. Grew up on the western tip of Pennsylvania. He's a redshirt senior, first three years collegiately at Duquesne. Transferred to Kent State prior to last year. Yeah, he was the player of the year in the MAC this season. Just an incredible ride. He's a ball dominant guard. 15 shots a game is what he averages. He's got an almost a two to one assist turnover ratio. He will be in command if Kent State's going to win. He had 26 points in the championship game, that showdown against Toledo in the Mid-American Conference Tournament Championship game. He is their do-everything point guard. Off balance shot, Huchifino. And the juxtaposition of that matchup, freshman Huchifino and Carey with all that experience. Yeah, they love that pin down action for him. He's so good, there's a player. Great point from Thomas, won't go. Offensive rebound, it was taken underneath Hornbeek. Trying to save, last touch by Indiana. I expect this to be a quarter court game. I don't think there's gonna be any easy buckets either way. Situational offense, when there's a dead ball executing, really important for both teams. Well, these two teams hanging around all day, waiting for this one to tip. And after 10.30 local time here at Albany. It's a long day. Jackson Davis, the denial. Turning back Davis. Galloway to the rack, left it short. Kent State still looking for its first basket. They missed their first five. Mismatch right here with Carey. He knows it, too. He wants a clear out. Inside. Here comes Huchifito, Thompson for the rock, and he's fouled! Wow, what an exchange! Jackson Davis blocks it into their transition game, numbers the other way! What a powerful finish by Thompson! Can you get an assist for a block? <laughs> We'll give it to him, Debbie. Grace Thompson, redshirt senior, such a huge piece for this program. Missed those four games in January with the knee injury, Debbie. They just weren't the same team in his absence. He's been such a mainstay in Bloomington. And he's given the Hoosiers a six-point lead. This is Carey. 
Working underneath, boy, dropping it down. Oh, Davis. Yeah, he wants the switch on Trace Jackson Davis. Carey does. He's trying to call the right switches so that he can try to put Indiana's defense at a deficit, try to put some fouls on him. Thompson with Thomas on his back. But Shafino. What a play, Hornbeek. Showing his defensive prowess at the start. Had the early block against Jackson Davis, and that time to steal. This is Carey. That's the switch he wants. Jackson Davis, Thomas, extra feed. Davis on a three-point jack. You better know the scout on Kent State. They make the extra pass, turn down a good shot for a better one. I know Cameron, Avon Cameron Davis capable of big shots. At that late one at Houston, game that they nearly won as a true road game. Jackson Davis the double. Here comes Cop on a dive to the rack. He's got the guys locked in, listening. Total command. That's what we were talking about before. He's in charge. If they're going to win, he has to manage every aspect of the game on the floor. We should point out, during that last break, the officials changed the Jalen hood Shafino perimeter jumper from a three to a two. So that's why the score changed during the break. As Miller Cop goes one of two at the line. Transfer from Northwestern. And he's put the Hoosiers back in front. See the shooting numbers. Penn State trying to survive this ragged shooting start. Carey. Down the way, taking his turn. Now the switch. Carey, a lot of dribbling. Davis, one to shoot, the leaner. Missed it. That's his own miss. Here's the spin. Just masterful. Chris Payton off the bench. How about Trace Jackson Davis making sincere carry pass it on that switch? He's such a versatile player. There he is at the other end going glass. And then he punishes on the other end. He catches that deep. It is so tough to bring the double. He's so quick with his footwork. First team All-American. There's nothing he can't do. Here's Hachafino, short. Off the floor comes Jalen Seliger. All the way to the cup. Missed it. Thompson running the floor. Lays it up and in. What an incredible tool to be able to have your center rebound and push and transition to initiate your break. It's the uniqueness of Mike Woodson's Hoosiers. Finished tied for second in the Big Ten. Ended their six-year tournament drought with their birth last year. But of course it ended with that horrific 29-point defeat to St. Mary's, their worst ever loss in the Big Dance. Trying to wipe the taste. Well, that's sticking in. Here comes Hachafino, the freshman kid from Pittsburgh. Missed it. Offensive rebound, Jackson Davis. They reset. This is Galloway. Thompson left open. Got it. In the open floor, and Ray's Thompson starting to do some work for the Hoosiers. He have not missed yet. He runs ahead of the ball in transition. And no look, a drop off. Trace Jackson Davis finds his front court mate, and then when the game slows down, a 24% three-point shooter knocks down a triple. What a start. Already exceeding his season average. So a six-point Indiana lead with 13 and change left in his first half. Nice slip. Thomas on the cut. The reset is a Sullinger. Driving kick, good transition, and rotations from Indiana. And able to put it down, that was Jacobs, and they give it away. We've got some swarming Indiana defense. Jackson Davis, the All-American, into the corner. 
So Mark Bates has checked into the game for Mike Woodson. Five to shoot. They double him. Cup. Hey. They missed the shot, Debbie, but that's one of the areas where Jackson Davis has taken his game to an even higher level. Decision making out of the double teams. Absolutely, and he's given confidence to the shooters on the weak side of the floor. When he plays out of the double and he puts it right in the pocket, you got to be ready to catch and shoot. Recent foul here as carry is bumped. It's on Miller Cop. That's his first. Well, and if you've been watching college basketball today, you saw one of the all-time shockers with Fairleigh Dickinson out of New Jersey knocking off the Giants as a 16 defeats the one in Columbus. Just incredible. This is the second time in the history of the tournament. <laughs> Carey, nice little smart pass, but Hornby couldn't finish. So Penn State's offense having some issues. Pachifino! Nine straight for Indiana. And there's that drought for the Golden Flashes. Thomas, big shot for Penn State. First points in 322. And it's a two-possession game. Jalen Hutchifino, freshman of the year in the Big Ten. Nice pocket pass. Jackson Davis, textbook. I mean, beautiful. Open up the middle third, shooters in the corners, can't bring help. So quick. This is Carey, tough defense against Bates, to the wreck. So back-to-back -back baskets now for Kent State. They're within five. There's your shooting numbers. Hornbeek now taking his turn. So patient. Carey getting his hands dirty. What's the call here? Back here in Albany with Coach Mike Woodson, two blocks, two steals, led to some transition points for you guys. What do you think about the tone your team is setting on that end of the field? I mean, I like our pace and how we're playing. We came out ready defensively. They only have, what, 14 points, so I'm happy there. But we've had a lot of miscues offensively where we're not setting screens and getting the ball to the right people. So we got to work on that a little bit more. Good luck, Coach. All right, thank you. All right, AJ, so Mike Woodson, five-point lead for his Hoosiers. Kind of the feeling out process there be between these two schools. Much familiarity. What have you seen so far? Well, if you take a look at coaches at their alma mater, Mike Woodson is talking about detail right now and execution and making sure you have the right angles and the spacing is right because their transition ability has been very good. Race Thompson has been outstanding running ahead of the ball. You think back to Indiana last year. We mentioned got into the tournament year one for Mike Woodson, 21 wins, but they didn't really know what their team would look like this year. Trace Jackson Davis planted the clay for the draft, but he ended up missing the NBA Combine after he came down with COVID. So the decision to return really changed the trajectory of IU season. And they have never looked back. Malik Renu has checked in for Mike Woodson. By the way, that last sequence was not an Indiana timeout. Sincere Carey trying to fight for the basketball was actually out of bounds, so IU saves the timeout. But here they'll just have 3.6 to shoot. Miller caught the inbounder, well played by Sullinger. 2.7 on the timer. Might need a ball fake. Look for the lob. There it is. Jackson Davis through his hands. Sellinger. This is Carey. Fires. A little bit too much. Hutchifino. Exquisite pass. What a defensive recovery by Peyton. There's Cop. Baseline J. Missed it. And the officials say a rebounding foul underneath. It's on Renew in Indiana. What a pass right here. And then look at the recovery by Peyton. 
You better dunk it around the rim tonight. <laughs> well, Chris Payton has made a couple of big plays off the bench for Rob Senderoff. So the officials have gone to the replay monitor here. Debbie, what are we looking at? Looking for a hook and hold is what the officials say. Well, we haven't had a lot of that in the game for a long time. Good veteran crew here. Keith Kimball, Kelly Pfeiffer, Mark Schnur. Another look at the replay underneath with Peyton and Renew getting tangled up. Looks like Renew was the one with the, the hook and the hold. Now this has been a point of emphasis over the last couple of years. See Renew have that right arm hooking underneath Peyton. And now the officials have seen enough. They are conversing right in front of the score table. I mean, they can upgrade this to an F1 if they think it's excessive. So there's going to be a common foul. Just a hook. Nothing excessive or more than that. Just a common foul. So at the 10 24 mark before halftime, five point Indiana lead. Kent State, Debbie, all their offensive issues, just five of 17 shooting. They're only down five points. Yeah, they're flying all over the place. They're, they got to get one more rotation of the basketball, I think, and get the right matchups in the switching defense. A sincere carry, player of the year in the Mid American this season. Can he get this offense on track? Selinger. Right around Bates. Missed it. Boy, won't get a better look than that. Indiana really pushes up the floor. But Shufino, Jackson Davis, what a combination there. Ball batted around. Last touch by Indiana. And here's what the push gives you naturally a mismatch in transition. Well, you can tune in to Inside March Madness and check out the play of the day presented by the Buick Encore GX. Mike Woodson pacing in front of that IU bench. Rob Senderoff, 49 years of age. Grew up in Spring Valley, New York, a little under two hours south of where we are here. All time winning his coach in Kent State history by a long shot. Carey. Offensive rebound, that's Hornbeak. Selinger. Mm. And the Golden Flashes now 5 of 20 from the field. What a split. What a pass. Bates. Jordan Geronimo trying to go over the top. Unable to squeeze it. And it belongs to the Golden Flashes. I listened to Trace Jackson Davis and Jalen Hood Shafino in their post game, or actually in their pre game leading into this, about having confident shooters around them, like passing the ball, knocking down shots, being ready to score. They have a lot of confidence in their teammates to make plays. Got a whistle here. It's on Jalen Hood Shafino. It's his first. Just think of Indiana. You know, the loss mentioned Ray Thompson, but how about Xavier Johnson? That foot injury, middle part of December. And right around that time is when their season started to go south a little bit. They were in a bad spot. Started conference play one and four. They were in a three and six stretch at one point. Fell from 15th in the top 25 to unranked. So Xavier sits over there next to Brian Walsh, one of the assistant coaches. Uh, this is the coach wins in the whole game, and then helps Jalen Chapino. Can't pace. What a play inside as Davis denied. Third block for Jackson Davis. That's Renew. Indiana builds on its lead. You know Malik Renew has all the counters. He goes against Trace Jackson Davis every day in practice. 
Our new five-star freshman out of Montverde Academy, grew up in Miami. Jacobs on the driving kick. This is Carey. Eight to shoot. Step back three. They just can't shoot straight. The miss by Davis. But Malik Jacobs will earn a trip to the free throw line. Davis throws that floater up there and look at Renew. The front of the rim and then to the other end. Over that right shoulder. So Malik renew the block in that last sequence. And Jalen Hood Shafino meantime just picks up a second personal. So Malik Jacobs just a 67% free throw shooter. Oh, you can watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code and download for free. Debbie, we saw it in the earlier game with Drake. High-seeded team, but a lot of experience. Just like Penn State, Drake got down in that game against Miami, but fought back. Very similar type team here in Kent State. They just don't get rattled. But obviously dealing with a, a different animal here in Indiana. Well, I just believe you can change the rhythm of the game with your multiple look defenses. And Rob Sinderoff has a variety of combinations with length and size that he can put on the floor that can generate and ignite some momentum on that end of the floor. They got to get a couple of stops in a row. Galloway skips it to Cop. Seven to shoot. Cop tough shot baseline. Missed it. Okay, there's one stop. And another little drought for the Golden Flashes. Carey. This is their star. Jacobs. They'll fire. Splash! And he's fouled. Back here in Albany with coach Rob Senderoff. You said coming into this game that your team would have to be really aggressive off of the screens and aggressive in the post. What do you think of their look so far? Yeah, we have to play a little bit better, to be honest with you. Transition defense we've struggled with. Uh, and we're getting good looks on offense. We're just, we got to make sure we get shots every possession. Thanks, coach. Good luck. Thank you. All right, AJ, Rob Senderoff just trying to figure out how to stop this kid, Trace Jackson Davis. He's 6'9, he blocks shots like a seven footer but he handles like a guard in the open floor. He impacts the stat sheet on the right side of the box score as well as scoring points and rebounding. It's part of the reason why he is a first team All-American and playing like one early on. One thing Rob Senderoff told us yesterday in our conversation, we have to turn them over. So far that has not been the case. Only two turnovers that they have forced so far in this first half. So Malik Jacobs to the free throw line to try to complete a four point play. Jacobs, the red shirt senior. First two collegiate seasons at the community college level at Indian Hills in Iowa before his transfer to Kent State. He led the country in steals this season and broke a near 30 year school record set by Reggie Adams back in 87. That is a four-point play and a big Huge. momentum build, builder for Kent State. That has given the Golden Flashes some life. How do the Hoosiers respond? Go right here to number two, three, and white. Cup. Jackson Davis, the catalyst once again. And Miller Cop, a 44% three-point shooter. Fourth assist for Jackson Davis. Carey leads up his own mess and a reset. It's tough to shoot over 23. Carey, oh, nice little shovel pass. They missed the layup. But Jacobs is there to tap it home. Jacobs is a perfect counter to what Sincere Carey does because he's got a high motor. He can guard one through four. Jackson Davis fou uh, fouled. So Malik Jacobs, who didn't score for about the first 11 minutes, has scored their last six. He tried to shoot over Trace Jackson Davis 
the previous possession. This time, he drops it off inside to Jacobs. So Trace Jackson Davis, who has certainly been in the conversation for National Player of the Year, once again has been terrific. Or you can watch whip around coverage of all men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with Fast Break presented by Nissan in the March Madness live app. Scan the QR code now to download. Trace Jackson Davis, his decision to return, he has officially put together, Debbie, one of the all time careers in the history of this program. All time leader, rebounds, blocks, and third on the all time scoring list. That's saying something with the players that have come through Bloomington. Absolutely. I mean, he's only got to catch Calvert Shane and Steve Offer. <laughs> Two pretty good ones. Yes. Galloway, well short. <laughs> Debbie, it has seemed like Indiana has been in, maybe control is a strong word, but. They've had their way. You look up, it's only a six point game with under six left. Trey Galloway is a 45% three point shooter. He's got to shoot the ball with confidence. Jacobs, no. Batted out. And a fresh 20. Carey, unable to turn the corner. Well played by Galloway. Oh, he's probing. Carey looking for some daylight. This is Thomas. Three to shoot. Carey, the handle. Lost his footing. Fires. And buries it. Officials are going to take a look. Unreal. <laughs> what a shot. <laughs> stumbling, rumbling, stumbling, and gets it off. Mm. Is it? Boy, that is close. They're taking a look at it right now. Wow, that is really close. That is almost simultaneous. The officials have called it a three-pointer on the floor, so now you need conclusive video evidence to overturn. If it stands, it'll be a three-point Kent State deficit. I think it's good. And that's your best look right there. Nice job by our director, Jim Cornell, all of our camera operators here in Albany. Working overtime tonight. Bringing you all of these incredible pictures. Three-point game. Basket confirmed. What a sequence for Sincere Carey. Cuts the deficit in half. Spiro, the four-point play. And then this. These are the kind of plays that you have to make for an upset. And sometimes March Madness comes down to a couple of inches. And down the way to swing. This is Bates. Quiet so far. Bates, a guy who's had some huge games for IU this season. Thompson, no. Offensive rebound. Cop. And Cop fouled here on the pass. Trying to get it out of the post. Looks like a little matchup zone to me. A change in the way they're defending, not up the line, but a little bit more in the gap. So Hornbeek is whistled for his second. It's their fourth with 435 left. Underneath out of bounds, Cop will be the inbounder as Indiana's offense has stalled a little bit here. Fades too much. And Thomas clears. You start to sense a little momentum shift here in Albany. Carey. Poked away. Nicely done by Cop. And Jacobs tracks it down. 12 to shoot. Jacobs sizes up. Cop elevates. Misses badly. Galloway wants a screen. What a pass underneath. Thompson bumped. This will be on Thomas. As Galloway taking a little bit of control of the range. Asking, getting the screen from Jackson Davis. And they will shoot a couple of free throws when we come back. Sincere carry. 
The star of the show for the Golden Flashes has cut it to three. First team All-American, Trace Jackson Davis. But uh, right now, Kent State, all that experience, showing that they do indeed belong with the Hoosiers, at least for the moment. First free throw from Thompson is short. Reminder coming up, AT&T at the half, scores in highlights. We'll get you all the latest NCAA tournament news. A look at that stunner in Columbus. Fairly Dickinson knocking off Purdue. Just wild. It's all next on AT&T at the half. When that went final in this building, this crowd full of Hoosiers went nuts. <laughs> they were not upset, you're saying? Oh, they were Purdue not happy. Okay. This is Sullinger, back of the rim, missed it. And this will be against Kent State. A couple of rebounding fouls by Peyton. Kent State number four, Chris Payton. That's his first personal. He's six on the half. So the foul charge to Peyton, his first. That was their last foul to give. Next one puts both teams in the bonus. With 336 left. Indiana, 22 wins this season. They finished tied for second in the Big Ten. This is Thompson. Pretty set up by Galloway. Great execution. And the first time we've seen the triple drive out of Indiana in the first half. Here's Peyton. Nice spin. The shot got it. Beautiful. So Peyton has hit his two shots off the bench. Here's Bates in the corner. Elevates. Missed it. Look at the hustle by Race Thompson. Gets the deflection. And then he hits the deck. That's why they love this kid in Bloomington. All-out hustle. Prior to that injury, he had started 76 straight games in which he has played. Just can't overstate his importance to this team. As we are under three minutes left before halftime. Here's Carey, fourth leading scorer in the Mid-America this season. All the way to the cup! Masterful! He is a hard driver. He cannot knock him off his line. He doesn't need a screen to get by anybody. He certainly knows the hips and shoulders game. Jackson Davis, the spin, look at him, surrounded by three defenders. And it's deflected out of bounds by the Golden Flashes. Watch and see your carry right here. A little brush screen. Doesn't always need a screen. And then he uses the rim to get to the other side before Grace Jackson Davis is there. Inbounds here, Jackson Davis, the spin. But he's just never rushed. They're running two and three defenders at him, always under control. He is pure basketball poetry. For a big, he's got a, a positive assist turnover ratio, and the most turnovers he had is Tom Izzo's team forced him into six turnovers. That's it, though. Otherwise, he takes pretty good care of the ball, makes really good decisions out of that double. Corner three won't go from Von Camera Davis. So Indiana with possession. Up for 90 seconds. Galloway teeing off. That will set up his three-point shooting ability. Sullinger steps into a three, rings out. And this will be a reach-in foul on Jacobs. And a one-and-one as they will put Jackson Davis at the free throw line. Debbie, it's such a well-rounded Indiana team. You've got your two studs, Jackson Davis, Hood Shafino, but Galloway, you know, a kid who had those injuries last year, the broken wrist, cop, lethal from three, and of course, Race Thompson. It's one of the reasons why they are so fired up about this team in Bloomington. 
But uh, it all begins and ends with this kid right here. Nine points, six rebounds, four assists. All his ball handling tonight, he's yet to turn it over. This is what I'm talking about. You can't speed him up. You've mentioned it before. He plays with such poise. He reads where the help is coming from, and he makes a quick decision. This is Indiana's biggest lead of the night as we come up on a minute. Can Kent State answer before the break? Selinger underneath kicks. Jacobs for the shoot. Carey knocked around. Boy, what a play by Jacobs underneath. A real two for one opportunity right there to score. Well, that stings for Kent State. Timeout taken. It'll be Indiana possession when we come back. Privilege to be with you again, NCAA tournament. Nothing quite like this March Madness scene. And all the craziness around the country. Spiroditas, Debbie Antonelli, AJ Ross, rest of our TBS crew. Turn it over time for you. Yeah, we have been chalk here today. And we'll see how it finishes out right here. I don't think you can go anywhere else but Trace Jackson Davis right here. Kent State is out of fouls. Galloway hounded by Sullinger. Ten to shoot. Galloway underneath deflected out of bounds by Davis. Seven to shoot. Good help right here, good collapse. Miller Kopp again, the inbounder. Mm. Stepping into those passing lanes, Peyton that time. And another second comes off the shot clock. Inbound to Galloway in the corner. Kicks, high pass, Thompson. This is Bates. Peyton got a fingertip on it. Seven seconds. Here comes Sullinger. All the way to the cup. Turn back. Wow. Jackson Davis, boy, that shot nearly went. For the greatness of this kid, something to behold. And Debbie's doing it at both ends of the floor. I mean, his timing is incredible. That didn't hit the backboard first, did it? No, it did not. Textbook defense. And Mr. Everything has led his Hoosiers into the locker room up eight. And they've got to get to the free throw line, just three for five. So all their downhill action has to put some fouls on Indiana so they can get some easy scoring at the free throw line. Because otherwise, Indiana's defense has been very good, as Coach Woodson alluded to AJ on the way to the half. Indiana, the at-large out of the Big Ten. Another terrific season under Mike Woodson. Year two has him back in the dance for a second straight year. Everyone knows how it ended last year. A blowout loss to St. Mary's in the first round. A sincere carry gets right to work. As we throw it over to A.J. Ross. Spiro Rob Senderoff echoed some of Deb's points. He said coming into this one, they can't get psychologically phased if Trace Jackson Davis is hitting shots. He does that against most teams, but they will continue to double him, and they have to keep him off the foul line. As far as offense, he said they're missing the easy ones. They missed 12 layups in that first half, and he said his team hasn't moved the ball the way they need to to get the good looks and get in a rhythm in this one, guys. Yeah, AJ, one thing about this team, they're, they're so battle-tested. We've been touching on how experienced they are as the ball boys come out to tend to the wet spot here before Carey shoots the free throws. They've had their opportunities, Debbie. Yeah, you know, Espiro, I, I think their defense has to generate something for them. We did see a possession of matchup zone in the first half. And as long as their transition defense is good, but there's no question, 12 missed layups has to have some Trace Jackson Davis effect on it, right? Such a great shot blocker. This is a Kent State team that enters the tournament 
22 and 3 in its last 25 games. You talk about confidence. First tournament appearance in six years. There's that 17 team, 15 seed ran into a buzzsaw, that stacked UCLA team. But as Rob Senderoff told us yesterday, I got a bunch of confident kids. In fact, for them, this would be an upset if they didn't win this game. With that great line, he said, we've got a healthy level of crazy in our locker room. One up eight, FAU Memphis coming down the stretch in a tight one on TNT. Thompson, boy, how good has he been tonight? Another three. That's what you call shooting the ball with confidence when you're a 24% three-point shooter. Thompson, a sixth-year senior. He's got experience for days. Thomas steps into a three. And this is going to be a loose ball foul on Jacobs. That is a textbook box out by Miller Cop and a second against Jacobs. So Indiana does such a good job of loading up to the ball. If Sincere Carey is going to dribble and not go anywhere with it, it's going to make it easier for Indiana to guard their actions. So you got to you got to keep the ball moving and you got to shift the defense. Maybe not a textbook box out by Pop, but he got his body where it needed to be. There's all those little things for Mike Woodson and the Hoosiers. Here's Jackson Davis. Going up the stat sheet again. Put Shafino. A little bit too much. That's their favorite action right there. The dribble handoff, pin down action was with Shafino getting to that right hand on that curl. Mm. Penn State now four for 14 from deep. They'll get a fresh 20. And sincere carry now, one of five from distance, three of 12 overall. Here comes Jacobs, puts it on the floor, misses at the rim again. Contested, tops it out of the play. Sequence. It's an 11 point Indiana lead. And this is going to be an offensive foul. It's on Hornbeak. I mean, the missing shots right at the rim. And then the loose ball. And Thompson finishes it off. Legal screen right here, leading with the shoulder. Maybe how much do you put on carry there, not allowing the screener to set up? Well, I mean, the screener turned his body into Trey Galloway. That is a really good call by the officials. Jackson Davis, back rim, rebound cleared by Thomas. But the Golden Flash is desperate at this end for some points. Payton. Checking in for Hornbeak. Vicious right-handed sledgehammer. So Hornbeak to the bench with three. Peyton inserted. And he's given them some juice off the bench tonight. He's been good around the rim. Six points for Peyton off the bench. Nine-point lead. Just under three minutes gone by Jackson Davis. Well challenged at the rim by Thomas. So good on that short roll. Here comes Carey. Boy, hesitation got himself into trouble. Man advantage for the Hoosiers. This is caught from the corner. Got it! Biggest lead for Indiana. Transition defense not there. Dropping one underneath on the bounce. This is Jacobs. They got a piece. Thompson. Got a fingertip on him. Look at Jackson Davis in the open floor. Drop steps. Got it. He is just too good. For a couple of tense finishes in Columbus. Wow. Not sure how many had that matchup in the second round. Wow. I mean, what a 
tournament so far. Magic and madness. Depends on which side you're on. You know, magic of this tournament, unlike anything else in sports. That's for sure. Now Kent State, Debbie, can they get their offense recalibrated here? They go underneath to the box. That's Davis, big basket out of the timeout. Okay, you go with your post game to the box. But their ability off the bounce, I think they've over-penetrated some, right into those shot blockers of Indiana. Again, one thing Rob Senderoff told us yesterday, we have to turn Indiana over. They've got just two in this game. Jackson Davis bumped before the shot. So we'll step away again. Indiana in command. They're up a dozen. Trying to will themselves to Sunday and a date in the second round. Morin, the Big Ten Coach of the Year on the women's side at Indiana, might still be uh, awake watching this unless she's um, watching some film, getting her team ready. Number one seed. Mm. Fantastic job she has done. We're after midnight here on the East Coast, Jalen Hood Shafino, the Pittsburgh kid. Freshman of the year in the Big Ten. I use first since Noel Vonley back in 2014. All that hype is a five star recruit. And boy, he is not disappointed. His game really took off after the injury to Xavier Johnson, and he has never looked back. Here comes Thomas Explodes. Missed it, and it's tipped up and in. Peyton. Indiana screaming for an offensive interference, but no call. So five minutes gone by in the second half. Still plenty of time to shoot. We'll hit Shafino with the controls. He'll fire. Back leg rebound cleared by Thomas. He cleared it out so he could go two-man game with Jackson Davis. Oh, what a pass! Peyton Jacobs dropping a dime. What a seal up the lane by Peyton. And how good has Peyton been off the bench on a night where they have been desperately lo looking for points? He's in the double digits. Archifino feeds Galloway in the corner. Trying to find Thompson in the box. He was overplayed by Thomas. Cup! Got it! Little Cup has hit a couple of threes in that corner. Nice drift pass. Carry another turnover. Debbie, you touched on it during the break earlier. Just a little bit of over dribbling yeah. to the basket for Kent State. Best coke ever. Only way to find out. Take a taste. Yes, Can they adjust? Yeah, I, I think they over penetrate. You know, I think they're getting too deep. I mean, they're going to score and they're not completing those plays. So they need to go fill behind the penetration. Play off two feet. Make a play to the other side of the floor. Jackson Davis to spin. Race Thompson on a vicious putback. Well, you are seeing the best of Indiana right now. Up 15 against this really good and dangerous mid-major at a Kent State. And another turnover. That short roll gives Trace Jackson Davis time to read, make a play, and then on the weak side, fantastic rebound by Race Thompson. Season high for Thompson. He's got 20. He is too shy of his career mark. Thomas nearly the steal. Peyton knocked it loose, and then it's last touch by Cop. So a good defensive sequence for the Golden Flashes, and that is only the third Indiana turnover tonight. Well, you can follow Highlight Her for everything you need to see her do in sports and culture. Scan the QR code now and don't miss another moment. Well, it is getting late. It isn't getting late on the Golden Flashes season. Touched on how battle-tested and confident this team is. 
Went to Houston, nearly knocked off the Cougars in a true road game earlier this season. They led that game late in the final minutes. Nice pass underneath the fake. Peyton got Thompson to bite. And the contact came before the shot. And it looks like Thompson's okay. This is a great pass right here. Now watch Peyton pump fake. Oh boy. And you know what, Peyton, he actually helped Race Thompson not crash to the ground, right? He didn't go back up with it. Thankfully, looks like everyone's okay. So just to get back to Kent State, not only that game at Houston, Debbie, a week later at Gonzaga, led that game with under a minute left, taking on a Zags team that had won 68 straight at home. So this is a team that feels like they belong. But can they get their offense going? That is Sellinger. Big, big floater. And they were in that Gonzaga game inside four minutes in the game. And Drew Timmy had 29 and 17 in that game. So that's why they keep saying, don't get caught up in what Trace Jackson Davis is doing. We know he can put up a big number. And they can survive it. Indiana Rose has been too good tonight. Thompson trying to put it back. Missed it. Another rebound. Here's Renew, the spin. Get it! They are crashing the offensive glass. Sullinger, the sophomore, out of Myron Thomas. Fighting to the cup, puts it down in a potentially big three-point play. As the Golden Flashes try to jumpstart their night, but they're running out of clock against this big bad Hoosier side from Bloomington. There's a game summary, 13-point IU lead with 11 and change left in the second half here. Race Thompson, what a night he's putting together. He's got 20. Well, part of the reason why Indiana is doing such a good job of scoring in the paint is because Race Thompson's increasing their field goal percentage with all these powerful dunks. He's eight for 11 from the floor. He's got 20 points to lead all scorers in the game. He hasn't had a big statistical season this year. Last year, career high points, 11 per game. So scoring has dipped. But it's just everything else he does. I think he's a tremendous counter to what J Trace Jackson Davis does. He's a good passer. He can play in the high-low. Handles the basketball, makes good decisions. But Shafino, the bounce, or New couldn't squeeze it, but nicely done to get it out to Cop. This is Bates. Pops off as the golden flashes dodge a bullet. It's only a 12-point game. Here comes Payton with a cup. Contact, no. Gets it back, maintains his pivot. Here comes Thomas. And he's denied. Jackson Davis off the charts. That's an example of what I'm talking about, over-penetrating. Either you're going to dunk it or you're going to pull up and shoot a jumper. Look at him with the left hand. Unbelievable. That was his fourth block a moment ago. Here comes Carey, taking Cop off the bounce, underneath to Payton. But again, the presence of Jackson Davis forcing Payton to pass. Which allows Miller Cop to come out and close out, and knowing that you've got that backside help. Jackson Davis had to save. Carey left open. He desperately needed that. And they're still down 12. Trace Jackson Davis, 50th career double-double. Just magnificent. Which of these two teams is moving on to take on Jim Laranega's Miami Hurricanes? There's your score, 12-point game, 10-19 left. Mike Woodson back at the controls, former All-American guard under the legendary Bob Knight, 1976 to 80. 
There's the Woodson family. His wife Terry on your right. His daughters Mariah and Lexi. And I know that they're not out of the woods just yet. Tamar Bates, the inbounder. Jackson Davis. Backdoor Hood Shafino. Boy, they make it look easy, don't they? Terrific execution off the timeout. Knowing that Kent State needs turnovers, they got to ramp up their pressure. And you come out with a backdoor look. Just can't say enough about the weapon that Jackson Davis is. Just no one else like him in college basketball. And he has been a catalyst. What a quick shot that is, Selinger. Just like that, it's down to 11. And a lot of time left up on that clock. First triple of the half for the Golden Flashes. Gonna read that weak side before you try to throw that line. Good decision by Jalen Hood. This is an even better one right here. Good back door. Bates couldn't finish. Off the floor, Jacobs kicks to Selinger. That's good! And here comes Kent State, showing a pulse. Jalen Selinger, terrific three-point shooter, 43% of the season. Jackson Davis coming with some nasty. What a pass. Wow. Thomas. Up high. Hoosiers looking for more, they're up 10. Here's Renew. And Hutchifino, look at the freshman taking control. Says, let's slow it down, get our shot. Under deep boy, look out. Sullinger coming over, got clipped. Andrew knocks it out of bounds off the hands of Renew. Needs no words. Debbie, it is a one two punch in Hutchifino. The freshman and Trace Jackson Davis that is hard to match in college basketball this season. Freshman of the year and the All-American. Here he is. Look at that spin. My goodness. Basketball brilliance from Jackson Davis. There's Jacobs. They get two right back. And Debbie, the resilience of this Kent State team. And keep chipping away. You just have to keep chipping away. You've got to get a couple of stops. And Indiana has them all spread out defensively. And then you can do this. Trace Jackson Davis bringing the golden flashes to their knees. For Bobby Hurley. And Arizona State, as TCU is moving on. Mm. Wow, what a day. What an incredible tournament so far. Trace Jackson Davis, but the only thing that hasn't got his way tonight, he has scored six straight for the Hoosiers. Has 18, 10 boards, five assists, and four blocks. Is that all? That's it right now. Here's Carey. Into the paint, shoots over the top of him. This is the stick that will go. Peyton, another chance, couple of fakes. He was out of bounds. Well played by Cop. And Kent State comes up empty. by Selinger. Look at Selinger. Comes up with the steal. Payton. But misses another layup. Unbelievable. Wow. You gotta go with two hands. Absorb the contact. Finish. 
Here comes Curley for a big swing. A potential five-point turnaround. And Miller caught with a chance at three for the Hoosiers. So our cops' parents, Deborah and Will, strong contingent that has made the trek from Bloomington. And I'm hoping to extend their stay here in the New York State Capitol an extra couple of days. Winner of this one advances to take on Miami in a round of 32 date here on Sunday. How deep can this Kent State team with all their experience dig here down the stretch? Eight to shoot. Sullinger against Cop sizes him up. They double into the corner to carry. He's their star. One second has to fire. Puts it down. An impossible angle for Carey. Just trying to keep the golden flashes within striking distance. There's an opportunity. Opening the door. Rare transition chance. Haven't had many tonight. Davis. That's a three. Five straight for Kent State. Ten point game. And here comes the full court pressure. We saw what this full court pressure did for Miami in their game against Drake. Kent State back in the dance for the first time in six years. 28 wins this year. Tied for second most in their program history. Can they steal one here against Indiana? How about that steal? Now with the quick hands. Jacobs. Jacobs led the country in steals this season. Defensive player of the year in the back. Jackson Davis just swallowed him up. His fifth block. What incredible timing. Corner three. Jacobs misses. Carey inside missed it. Tempo's picking up right here. This is exactly what Kent State needs. This is their calming influence right there. Jackson Davis, now to Galloway. Pass deflected out of bounds with 12 seconds to shoot. And down to 438 regulation. You have to speed up the game to get some possession so that you can have more opportunity to score. And Indiana's going to put the ball in their All-Americans' hands. Go with who you trust here, late in the game. Rick Shafino looking for some daylight. Five to shoot, no fire, missed it. Jackson Davis offensive rebound. Boy, his pass intercepted. Nicely done by Davis, open floor, the lob. But they miss another chippy. With numbers. Backbreaker. Just a killer sequence for Kent State. Miss layup on one end, and they give one up at the other. Davis, impressive all game. I mean, he really plays bigger than his 6'9 frame, but he handles the ball like a guard in the open floor, and he makes decisions at a quick pace. But he also has patience when he catches the ball and he facilitates out of the double. Meantime, if you're Rob Senderoff, you just think of all the layups you've missed, the missed three-pointers. They have had the shots and the looks that they want. Yeah. Boy, this is a, just a backbreaker here. Carey was out of bounds on the catch. And Rob Senderoff wondering what else can go wrong at this point. It's only their seventh turnover. Well, they didn't shoot the ball well. And I think they overpenetrated somewhat into the shot blockers and size of Indiana. 
told you about Senderoff growing up about two hours south from here. He was actually a student manager at the University at Albany on their basketball program as he took the first little baby steps into his coaching career. Jackson Davis, where he is sprinkling his stardust under March Madness tonight. Here comes Sullinger. This will be a reach in foul on the floor. Another dunk. Worked so hard for the catch. It's a quality catch around the rim. And then his athleticism takes over. Look at Thompson. Then he goes behind the back. Cop underneath Galloway. Just so unselfish every with their passing. And a heady play by Galloway to run that clock. Officials are going to stop it here. We've got a wet spot. So Mike Woodson calling his guys over to get a little quasi timeout here. We're just under three minutes left. And Indiana holding his a 14 point lead. Well, after all the games are over, Ernie Johnson, Jay Wright, Candace Parker, and Seth Davis will have all the highlights and analysis on Inside March Madness presented by Buick. That's coming up only on True TV, and they're going to have a lot to talk about. They've done a great job all day in studio. A wild second full day of the tournament. And some long faces wondering if their journey is nearing a close here in Albany tonight. This is an incredible season for this Kent State program. 28 wins. Tied for the second most in school history. The only team that has surpassed them, that 0-2 squad, that incredible run. A great team that went all the way to the Elite Eight. There's a run from the double again. Just absolutely picking them apart. Here's Carey. Trace Jackson Davis to have 12 points in the last five minutes. Explosive. So good with that short roll where he can catch it and operate in space. Cup. Coach Shafino unable to put it back. This will be a reach in against the freshman. For the first time in pro wrestling, the cameras will go where they never have been before. Don't miss the real life drama of AEW All Access. New series premieres March 29th, right here on TBS. Trace Jackson Davis, standing ovation, that strong contingent from Bloomington. Debbie, what else can you say? Just unbelievable. Fantastic. What a show he put on tonight. Both of them. And go back to his decision to return to this program after last year. Set them on their current path. On a mission. Marvin Thomas steps into the open three, left it short. And the rebound by Geronimo. Penn State, Michigan State, Northwestern still alive in the Big Ten. A pretty good start for the conference. And Maryland. Maryland as well, Spiro. Our stat man is Mr. Maryland, Brett Purcell. We, we couldn't forget that. Corner three from Cop won't go. And those Hoosier fans starting a party here in Albany. Jacobs pass, taken away by Bates. Final 60 seconds. Both coaches will start to empty their benches. What a night for IU and its star as they are second round bound in a big dance. 
But Trace Jackson Davis putting himself into some rarefied air. First player in the tournament, 20 points, five assists, and at least five blocks since they started tracking blocks in 1986. Absolutely incredible. And it's his assist game to go along with it. Five assists. <laughs> It's the uniqueness or one of the unique aspects of his game. Just run out of superlatives to describe how good he is. Von Cameron Davis. Underneath. And we get contact here as Geronimo is called for contact. Coach Woodson's got to be pleased with the effort of his team. The balance they showed on offense, how aggressive they were at the rim on both ends of the floor. Didn't turn it over. There's a team Odosipe at the free throw line. Redshirt freshman born in Nigeria. Now, Debbie, this is what makes this tournament so special. The raw motion, we've got jubilance, elation on one side and the finality of the end of the run on the other. Missed free throw, but they earn another trip. And Del Rico Gillespie getting ready to shoot a pair. Debbie, how far can they go? How impressed have you been with what you've seen? I mean, I, I think they are put together in a nice little package and they're ready to tie a bow up, right? I mean, they defend at a high level. They have great balance offensively. They are determined and they play with a high motor. They share the ball. Trace Jackson Davis is a superstar. And he's got all the complimentary pieces to go alongside. It's going to be a really tough check for Miami. In the meantime, a tip of the cap to Rob Senderoff in Kent State. Just a tremendous season for this basketball program. But their ride. Is going to end here tonight in Albany. Final seconds will tick off the clock. Indiana is moving on into the second round and a date with Miami on Sunday here in Albany. 71-60. Your final.